Hello Sagittarius. This is going to be a reading for you from now until the end of October. Well, the Six of Pentacles wanted to flip out. Let's see if it's going to be significant for you. So what can you tell me about Sagittarius from now until the end of the month of October? What's going to happen in the life of Sagittarius from now until... Oh, from now until the end of October, Sagittarius. Let's see. Okay, so you're bored. You're bored out of your mind and you're alone and bored and you don't know what to do. You're thinking about going somewhere, but you don't really know if you are going to take um, this uh, journey. And um, the reason why I said this be is because this Four of Cups, this Temperance, this Hermit, these, this Two of Swords, these are all cards of waiting. They're, they're not cards of action. So I do think that you are in a state right now of being, you know, a bit meh, I don't know. Let's continue and see if this is going to change. Okay, so um, I see a new beginning here in your future with this fool. Are you going to have some sort of house party? Uh, because you are thinking about some sort of party uh, with the Hermit and the Three of Cups here. A party, a reunion with someone. Um, I'm not sure if your friends are going to accept this offer because I see them turning their back on you. <laughs> so um, I'm not really sure about this. And I also see you here in, in your thoughts with the Ten of Swords. You're very sad. You are not able to go somewhere. I think you had this um, these thoughts of going somewhere. Yeah. It's becoming more and more clear. You are definitely, as I said, you are definitely alone and bored right now. You want a brand new beginning, but it's not going to happen right now. You want to achieve success, but even you are aware that this journey and the moving forward with your life is not going to happen right now. You're at a standstill. Something is stuck. You are going to get a bit of joy and excitement here in your new, near future. But as I said, if you are planning some sort of get together, a house party, if you maybe you were planning Thanksgiving with your family, with your friends, I'm sorry to say, but they're not going to accept your invitation and they're also going to be sneaky about it because look, they're turning their back on you with the Eight of Cups. Uh, but with the Seven of Swords, they're going to be sneaky in the sense that they won't be honest. They're going to make up some excuse as to why they can't come to your party. Uh, oh, or if you were planning a birthday party for yourself in December, I don't know. But I don't think your friends are going to be up for it. Although this is a reading for now, for, for October. I don't know. If, as I said, if you had some intentions of meeting your friends, they're not going to accept it. Uh, in your outcome, you're also going to be worried about money. You're also going to struggle with money. And it might be that you are going to have some arguments with someone over some money that maybe, maybe you lost. We will see. I'm going to continue this reading in the extended video on Vimeo. It costs $1 and you can find the link to it in the description box below. And I'm going to have a look to see what is this excitement that's going to come to you here in the near future. I'm also going to have a look at what is this sneakiness that's coming towards you from your friends. I, as I said, I think it's going to be an excuse, but let's find out if there's something more to it. And I'm also going to look at the outcome to see what is it with this money that you are going to have to fight for and it's going to make you very concerned about losing some money or um, I don't know, we're going to find out. So I'll see you on Vimeo. I hope you enjoyed this read uh, reading and um, I'll see you in the, my next video. Bye for now.